What's up guys, my name is Carlos Berto. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel this week. So today what I have for you guys is a really cool hair video because I feel like a lot of you guys are interested in knowing a lot more about hair and I feel like I'm just gonna give you guys what you want. So today what I figured is make a video for you guys by basically starting from the start off point when it comes to your hair. So I want to make sure that I'm going to be able to educate you guys the most that I can with my knowledge in hair and share with you guys tips and tricks that you guys could use for your daily life and your daily hair routine. So today what we're gonna talk about is how often men should wash their hair. Because one of the most popular questions ever asked in the men's hair world is how often should men wash their hair? Even though the answer to this differs from person to person, hair type to hair type, and scalp to scalp, it is completely natural for your scalp to get oily, oily just as your face does. Because glands on your scalp secrete oils to moisture your hair and scalp to keep it healthy. So there's a lot of factors that go into how often men should wash their hair. So let's go ahead and begin this video right now. So the first question is, how often should I wash my hair? How often should men shampoo? When talking about how often men should wash their hair, a great starting place is shampoo products. Shampoos come in all different types, including scents, ingredients, daily instructions, etc. And some actually work better than others. And this is gonna be a little bit of a trial and error for you guys to figure out exactly which one suits your scalp and works best for your hair type. So the first tip off the bat is I highly recommend staying away from the two-in-one shampoos. They really serve no real purpose at all. And a general rule of thumb is to skip a day in between shampoos. For, for the average guy, every other day should be just enough to get the job done. And for example, if you shampoo on Monday, then you should be shampooing again on Wednesday. And the benefits to this is that your scalp could replenish its natural oils that it secretes instead of consistently stripping them away. Because this is exactly what shampoo does. It strips away all your nutrients, all the oils, all the benefits that help your hair follicle become strong and completely clean it out in a brand new clean palette. So essentially every time you shampoo, you basically are just leaving your scalp a little bit more vulnerable. And for those who don't have oily scalps naturally, then you could go ahead and wash your hair every single day. And there shouldn't be any real issue male or female. Obviously, if you use different types of hair products and you apply product every single day and you do need a clean scalp, then you could just go ahead and set a little bit of a different type of agenda for your hair type and your hair scalp uh, and what it needs. So figure that out and take that all into consideration when figuring out what shampoo you want to use. So on to the next. So just to break down a couple of elements you should consider, and a little bit of tips that might help you figure out how often you should wash your hair is consider your skin type. If your scalp is normal, meaning as in not too greasy or not too dry, you should be fine with washing your hair roughly three times a week. If it's a little bit more greasy, then obviously you will need to wash it a little bit more. And if it's too dry, then just wash it less. And if you feel like your scalp is just a little bit dry, then go ahead and find a nice moisturizer that's going to help your scalp moisturize. Now the second thing you should consider is your hair texture. Hair texture is very important because it dictates how much time the oil will get from the root of your hair to the hair tips. Typically people with curly or wavy hair have the disadvantage here as it will take longer for the oil to get into your hair and make it greasy so you will only need to wash it two to three times a week roughly. And people with straight hair will need to wash it more because it runs down the strands of the hair a lot quicker. Now that we have the shampoo figured out, now let's talk about how often men should condition their hair. The fun part. So straight up, after every time you shampoo your hair, you must condition your hair and use a good conditioner. Conditioners are vital for your hair to regain its vitamins and moisture so it does not dry out and give you any frizzy, frail hair or dry scalp, which is a no-no. This is extremely crucial when it comes to guys with longer hair because the longer your hair gets, the more oil your scalp will produce, which means you will be shampooing more often and you will also be drying more often, which will be affecting your hair and scalp. A conditioner is a perfect way to make sure you aren't over shampooing because if you don't use conditioner, you will actually be doing more harm to your hair and scalp, which is no good, no good at all. So take my word, use conditioner every time you shampoo your hair and you will thank me in the long run. These are probably the two main topics that concern everyone when talking about how often men should wash their hair, especially men who have dandruff or dry hair issues, which is the worst, like frizzy hair and frail hair, not good. So I highly suggest that you do a lot of trial and error and actually read a lot of the ingredients and see what's good for your hair and how your scalp's reacting. Pay attention because if your hair becomes frail and brittle, then you might wanna do something like co-washing. It might not be the shampoo, it might be that you're using the products all wrong. So everything should definitely be considered when trying to figure out what works for you. So that's why I can't really give you an answer of like, this is the perfect product for you, this is the perfect product for you because what's good for me might be bad for you, what's bad for you might be excellent for me. So it's always about getting to know your hair, getting to know your hair scalp 
and just knowing what works for your hair and how it's reacting. So pay a lot of attention when you're shampooing your hair and don't just do it to do it. Especially if you want healthy hair in the long run, then you have to just pay attention overall and then you'll be good. Totally depends on exactly what it is that your hair is asking for, for you to take care of it and to grow out prosperously. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It's pretty straightforward, guys, honestly. And if you guys want to get a list of really good shampoos and conditioners that I've used in the past, then I will leave it down below in the description. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got a little bit of education and I hope to see you guys soon. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do and I'll see you guys very soon. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well if you guys want some daily fashion tips and daily sales for different stuff. Peace out. By Carlos Alberto, Young Spades, don't forget to put style on everything. Peace out.